Hello, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on the fourth installment of the Pandaria Enhancement Survival Guide. Right today, we're going to have a subtlety rogue aesthetic teach us how to deal with his own class. I um, want to thank him a lot for joining us this evening. He has his 2200 weapons. He's a pretty good rogue. I think one of the best rogues on my server. Um, I think one of the top two, maybe the top one. I think he's top one, actually. Perhaps. Maybe. I'm not sure. But he's pretty good. Though he is kind of still learning his class. And he is the one I have found to learn against. So won't that be fun? I think so. So let's get to it, shall we? It's not too complicated fighting rogues. Um, the first thing you need to worry about is the opener. Most rogues will probably have Scepterfuge, which allows them to stay in stealth for an extra three seconds. And so when opened on, you need to immediately rage if you're cheap shotted or healing stream or stone bul bulwark totem if you're garroted and you can get a lot in trouble if you don't because they can do both of them and just put on a ton of pressure on you put a ton of pressure on you right away and then your mid to long term goal or your midterm goal is to get him to use cloak or all of his vanishes so you can use wolves and fire mental um, after a flame shock uh, you know fire mental if you really want to overkill but in order to do that, after the opener, your next goal is to determine what the talent he has in his fourth tier is. What talent he has in his fourth tier. Either preparation, shadow step, or burst of speed. Because if he has preparation, then he then he has two vanishes. So the first vanish won't be enough for you to be able to just pop wolves on him. So after the opener, you can choose to either pop defenses and face tank him, face tank him until he uses evasion. Um, when he uses evasion, you won't be able to generate maelstrom proc charges so you want you want to uh, sprint away after that um, you can flame shock him to right in the beginning to kind of um, get him to blow cloak maybe early on if he has in case he has preparation and wants to use it and needs needs or wants to use his vanish to reconnect to you so the best thing to do is sprint away after evasions um, but don't root him because you want to save your root for when, once he reconnects to you. you so use Earthbind or Frostbrand uh, for the slow. Um, pop then, pop Spearwalker and either heal yourself uh, or hex him. Um, he might cloak the hex. The smartest thing for him to do would probably be to trinket the hex. Because the hex isn't going to come up in, in um, you know, the duel's probably not going to last 45 seconds. And if he notices the capacitor totem, he could probably just kill that. If he if he recognizes what it is, so watch these next clips. I'm just gonna go through them as they happen and kind of explain to you step by step, perhaps, or just talk about them. So in this one, he opens on me with Garrote and then cheap shot, and I wasn't quick enough to, or I did what I did. I did drop Stone Ball Work Totem, and so he kind of jumps away from me, so I get a hex off him. Um, he doesn't evasion yet, so I'm just face tanking him basically um, from now on the stupid freaking temotemic projection makes my capacitor miss and really this is kind of this is one of our earlier duels so he's and he was just kind of getting used to his rogue this guy's actually really quite good I want to thank him so that was kind of simple and easy he didn't evasion early enough he didn't use wolves but it'll get diff progressively difficult as you go to the next ones so, in this next duel, he's about to open up on me. He gets the cheap shot Garrote off um, right away, and I'm not able to use any of my defenses. But he doesn't quite evasion, so I'm just face tanking a little bit, but then I decide to sprint away and try to spear walker hex him. He shadow steps and kicks me, so I know that he shadow steps back, and there's his vanish. So, that means he's primed to get um, spear wolf done. He gets caught by my capacitor. Um, which I dropped to while he was vanished so I could heal myself. So I get the flame shock, even though I didn't really need it, and the wolves out, and he just gives up because from then on he's kind of screwed. So now in this next duel, I get the rage off right after he cheaps, shot, cheap shots me. He opens up hard with whatever glowy crap that is, so I sprint away early, and I try to hex him when he had already cloaked, I think. I don't know if I noticed it, but I could use it on my heal myself, but at least he did cloak, so I pop wolves and flame shock him, but he's able to vanish again and get another opener. I'm getting pretty low, but I'm able to spearwalker another heal on myself. I think I pop guidance, 
soon, and he's getting damaged pretty hard. Um, he doesn't have evasion up. I'm not sure exactly what he pop evasion. I don't think he pop evasion at all there. So he goes down. So this next one was pretty crazy. I think it was pretty clumsily done on my part. I didn't get the rage off because I think he didn't break my sap till later. I'm already at half health, evasions, and cloaks. So I run away, but notice the cloaks don't hex him. Um, but I wasn't healing myself for some reason. Oh, because he still had shadow step, I think. I'm not sure exactly. But I know he trinketed, and somehow I was able to get the hex off because I saw him, I saw him through cloak, somehow. So he reopens on me. I haven't dropped my healing totem. That would help me a lot. But I probably could have gotten a flame shock on him earlier. Uh, maybe instead of that uh, earlier route. But I think that did work out for me. But so in the in the end, I'm able to get the flame shock and the wolves out, and I'm not really going down. And he's just slowly getting taken down. And that's the game. So I rage the sheep shot. I get corroded. He evasions right away. Earthbind and spear walk hex into the cloak. But it doesn't really matter because he did cloak. That's all I really wanted. Um, so he's on him. My capacitor misses, but he vanishes before I get the flame shock on him. And he reopens on me. I uh, still haven't cloaked or anything. He gets pretty low. So I hadn't been using. I didn't get my wolves out soon enough, but I do have my wolves out now. I'm still kind of low. I have my ancestral guidance working for me. It blinds me, but I heal to try to get the last, squeeze out the last bit of that guidance. Um, but he doesn't cheap shot me quite, and I be able to get another heal off because he just pulls away, and he's finished. So this next one is almost a culmination of stuff. Not quite done perfectly, but maybe. So he cheap shots me and I get the rage off right away. Um, he evasions right away, which probably has kind of a mistake, but it's also a mistake of me. Just the hex into his cloak um, right when it was completely obvious. But he did shadow step, um, so, but he cloaked anyways. So I just pop a flame shock, pop a wolves, and they set on him. And my capacitor down, my capacitor finally hits something. And I'm at full health, and he's almost dead, and he just gives up. So this is the final duel all show that I've gotten um, with this guy. Maybe if I ha get more rogue duels, I'll play other people, I'll play him. But he opens pretty good, I don't get a rage off, or I just I get my totem off late. I try to kite him a bit, he cloaks early, he doesn't evasion yet, um, but he's popping all his defense, his offenses. I try to heal, I can't even do that, he he vanishes and stabs me, starts stabbing me in the back. But I finally do get a healing surge off, pretty good one, I think my echo proct, and I know he's used all of his, his cloak and his vanish, so I just pop my wolves and continue from there. Damn capacitor totem misses somehow. But tries to blind me, run away, but I'm just not gonna let him happen. This I guess this is it. Dueling rogues is pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Just gotta get them to cloak and vanish and then pop wolves and you're pretty good. He's sub he's subtlety spec, he has his twenty two hundred weapons, so it does do okay pretty good damage. But I think uh, assassination rogues do a bit more damage, especially with their dots. They can just load you up and you will Take away, but this but the strategy is basically the same. You have to survive and use get them to use their cooldowns enough while threatening uh, to just heal yourself up. Forces them to use cloak, forces them to use vanish in order to kill you before you can resurrect yourself high enough. And that's pretty much it. Rogues are pretty simple. I don't know if they're gonna get much harder in miss. I don't think they are, they're going to get a little bit burstier um, from their level 87 ability and their level 90 abilities are not going to help them too much. More so, I think they're going to be pretty simple to deal with, especially in long term matches like in arenas. I don't know what Blizzard's going to do with them, but though Assassination does look like it's doing some massive damage and they do have a lot of control still. But the survivability is, and the mobility is, might even be worse than ours. 
probably is even worse than ours. So I hope you learned something today from this. And go smack those rogues around. <laughs> After my, I don't remember if I don't remember if they dominated us or not in Kata. I think it was fairly even match in Kata. For now I think we spank them pretty hard. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More to come. And I'll see you guys later.